It by Michael Jackson, Eat It by Weird Al, and these are $2,300. Do you want to stick around? Do you want to hear about them, or you want to go? Good. They're the Air Pulse A300 Pro. Now, um, you recall, recall on this channel, I'm put some flashlights down soon. You recall on this channel, I did the A100s. And I didn't like them. I mean, I, I respected them. They looked beautiful, but I didn't love them. They were $1,000. And they didn't sound $1,000. And I emailed AirPulse, who is the daddy company's edifier. So, like, you can tell there's, like, a bit of their mm, back in there, especially, like, with the remotes are fucking gorgeous. Um, and I'm like, hey, can you send me the bigger ones? Because I th these these hundreds aren't doing it for me. I want to hear what the what the, the the bigger the bigger and so they sent me the biggest uh six and a half driver you'll note we're going back to a little bit of an old school zeos here i used to not give a fuck and then i started giving a fuck and that's when the channel went downhill so for now on no more fucks given um these are upside down these are the feet on the bottom reason being uh the stands i have here are 36 inches tall i I think they're what, what Rockville, they're, which is not a great brand, but they're a stand, so it doesn't matter. And at 36 inches tall, sitting on my couch, this, the tweeter needs to be lower than here. I could have used shorter stands, sure, and have the speakers right set up, but I'm, I was using them in the context of with a television. So there's a visual aspect of watching TV, by the way, wallpaper in the wallpaper horde. Don't forget to check out Patreon, subscribe star. Um, instead of like... So I want to watch things, and usually you have speakers that are in line with said television. So taller speaker stands, perfect. Had the speakers right set up, sat down, didn't like them. What's fucking going on? Something's off. Something's just off. Flip the speakers upside down because it is a completely legal move. This is not illegal. I mean, maybe a wife unit or a fucking friend unit or an asshole unit is going to come online and give you a comment of like, Feel if you can't possibly turn these upside down. Look at the things. The air pulse is written completely upside down. You can't do. Fuck you. All you need to concern yourself with with a setup of a speaker is that the tweeter, or 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 the point where the, all the drivers blend. So on like a three way like this, the drivers would blend probably somewhere around here. You got to make sure that is close enough to your ear level. So with this speaker, that tweeter is very vertical dependent. It's very, it's not like a fan, it's not shooting up, it, it is like a laser beam. That tweeter, by the way, also preview to the sound, is probably the finest tweeter I've ever heard on a speaker. Full stop. Um, I said similar things about the A100, the one that I didn't like, but that was all it had was this brilliant tweeter and then no mid-range bass or anything. This solves 90% of that issue, we're still not looking at a set of, like, these swans, which are half the cost of those, will destroy these in for low end. Just for low end destruction. <laughs> swans. However, however, that tweeter at the right height and the right angle and the right distance is legitimately the best tweeter I've ever heard. I, I don't know... What it even is, there's just a silver vertical, and there's, there's a horn, and there's a metal mesh, and if you hit play, it's just got this, like, I knew, I was like, all right, I'm going to break these speakers in. I'm gonna, I did the thing where I pointed them at each other. I played the out-of-phase sounds. They're self-powered monitors, by the way. I gotta should probably go over, like, what you're looking at here. Um, but I knew when I started playing music and like, no, I want to hear this track now. Oh, no, 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 I want to hear this track now. Oh, now I want to hear this track now. And I just wanted to hear all of my music, but how this speaker's presenting it, that's when you know you've got a good speaker. Because sometimes I'll put a speaker on and it's like, whatever. And sometimes I'll put a speaker, a headphone, and I am in, and it's like, ooh, this is doing something that I want to hear it, do it to this song. By the way, this is Ham Duce from Yoko Kano from the Cowboy Bebop Ask DNA singles. Um, 
Fuck. Like, it's just, I sit here and, you know, Zeus, you love everything. Yeah, but if I progressively just get nicer and nicer things, then there's no way for me to hate it. Besides, go watch the literal version of this that's smaller and watch me hate something. Because it didn't have the... It didn't have the thing, the it. The make me a thousand dollar speaker didn't have it. These at $2,300 are properly priced. These will shit on, I just did the RP600M Mark IIs. Shits on them. Those are only like $600, but they're excellent speakers. They're passive speakers, they're clips. I love clips, I have a couple. Doesn't fucking matter. Self-powered with the best tweeter in the, in the like literally, well, I just went to Munich and I didn't hear a tweeter that sounded like this. And it's the way it's blending. I, I complain a little bit about these not having low end. And so there's a sub here, which is an Ellipson, which is from Apos, sent me that. It's a little tiny little baby guy. It's 900 fucking dollars. And I got it on a separate deck so I could literally unmute it or turn it off apparently. And it'll just fill in the low end and that's fine. I think every speaker set, every speaker set, needs a subwoofer to get down to like the under 20 hertz stuff. Music does have under 20 hertz. There's no difference for this. These sort of cut out in like the 50s and it's like, I wish they, they could just reach a little lower then they'd be a complete full experience. But you know what? If that tweak, if making the bass more threw off this blend of just world's greatest tweeter and a very refined, it's not a real Facebook, but very refined six and a half. This is doing everything but the bass fucking three times better than anything else I've heard near the price range. All right, just there, there you go. Let's look at the, um, the actual, let's look at the actual fuck. I guess I have to turn one of these over because they are, or turn it around on the stand, and then turn it over. Here, hold on, we're gonna do a thing. We're doing a whole series of things. I will say this, for $2,300, you are getting what looks to be a $2,300 speaker. You've got nothing but machined aluminum knobs. You have got, which this one isn't gonna enable, OLED displays, little, 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 I don't know if they're OLED actually, but little displays that are full displays that tell you volume and bass and treble whenever you adjust it. These bass and treble knobs do nothing right now because we are currently, you'll notice it's just power here. So that's the master unit. It is assignable, I think. God almighty, please remind me if it's assignable. It is. Okay. No, wait, if it was assignable, I would have put it on this side. It's not assignable. Fuck! Remember when I did the Fios and there was a little switch in the back for left and right, but I didn't really need it? This whole speaker setup is $2,300, has an app and everything, and it's just like, nope, that's the right speaker, which you, which all your inputs. Well, I should I don't, I say all your inputs, but that's a lie, because what makes this the 300 Pro is the fact that it has an unbalanced and balanced input on the speaker itself. Pro being if you were going to use it in a pro setup for doing mastering and mixing, a mixing console, you wanted to do that sort of stuff, you would take your your um, your interface and you would plug your XLR cable out of that into this. And then and only then will these bass and treble knobs function on the unit. Because the way it is right, in fact, the volume knob doesn't even do jack shit right here. Because this is the slave unit. It's sitting here, it's got the Monoprice hospital power cable. By the way, I love these power cables. Power switch. You've got your completely disabled bass and, and low frequency shelf, high frequency shelf. Um, your volume, which is an infinitely spinning, clicky, clicky. It's like such a, it's, it's so nice. And the screen, and it gives you all the things you need to know. And then you have a switch here for input select. Others, unbalanced or balanced, we're in others because it's coming from that. Link status light, master volume is, is lit up. Input sensitivity is set, and there's a pair reset button you can hit in there. Um, I'll put this back to the way it was. You can imagine them the right way up, by the way. Also, I wanna point out these also do not have grills. There's no grills to show you because they don't have them. That's a bold move. $2,300 speaker, like, even the swans are just like, hey, we have a grill, sort of, like, it's a thing. They just cover a thing. These are real dusty, by the way. I should really... Like, ugh, that's not even dust. It just feels like speaker dandruff. Is that a thing? So, 
that'll be a tough sell if you're trying to put these in a living room like you would and get this experience because it'd be perfect since they're wireless connectivity you just need a power cord over there and a power cord over there and you don't have, to have anything running between the two just fucking nothing um we got to look at the back of this one because it is a completely different thing well it's very much the same and a little bit different so here we go we actually have the screen showing up showing the level there's another screen on the front of this unit since it's the master also showing the level a full fucking screen um <sighs> bass and treble knob still won't work same switch for others on balance and balanced you get your input of two rcas you get your input of coaxial digital you get your two inputs of i'm sorry one input of of optical and then a capped i've never seen a capped usb so you can hook this up USB, optical, coaxial digital, or feed it an analog signal through RCA here, or feed it RCA through here and there, and then bypass the whole wireless transmission thing. But then you are using the volume knob independently, so you're going to have to control it from a source, and you're going to use the bass and treble knobs independently. Once you have it set up the way it is, linked together wirelessly, using the others thing, um you then have a bass and treble adjustment on the remote and only the remote, and that's how you're gonna have to deal with it. Get this straightened out. That's really a, I have, the, the stands are fine. The floor right there has like a ridge in it and I hate it. I'm gonna re-pour this whole floor for just that one ridge. Um, you can see the screws on the bottom probably holding in quite a large amount of electronics inside of it. Uh, we need to talk about the remote. Because honestly, we're talking about a $2,300 set of speakers. I actually complained about the A100's remote. This remote is fucking perfect. Because it looks, it's lightweight, but it's aluminum. Why can't, like here, how many other fucking remotes can you want me to pull out? Here's a remote control for the black ice. It is also aluminum. It is a fucking brick and it has rattly buttons and the back has screws. This is just a remote. I, uh, the bottom has a screw to take out the uh, batteries and I've added felt. For those of you who don't know, I have felt tape for like projection screen surrounds. And one of my fetishes is to add felt tape to the back of it so that when you put it on a couch, it doesn't fall off. See, this one doesn't have felt tape. It fell off. So go buy a roll of felt tape. It can put it on my pants. It just doesn't fall off. And it's just smooth and nice. And it collects a little bit of cat hair. Look, look at the angles on that. God damn it. Anyway, fully aluminum, but light. It doesn't need to be a million pounds. It just has to be nice. So you get fully aluminum. You get your up down for volume. You get your next track, last track, play pause. Supposedly, that would be for Bluetooth. There is a Bluetooth setting on this. I, however, have a Flirk over here. Hi. Somewhere over here is a Flirk. That is the infrared receiver. So since this is an infrared remote and I'm not using it for Bluetooth, I've assigned these three buttons through the Flirk to change tracks and play pause. Give me a good one. Give me a good one. Give me a good one. And then point it back at the remote for the volume. And then pause it because fucking YouTube. Um, so your mute, your power, your up down volume, your next track, play, last track, play pause, which you can reassign with a FLIRC if you want to use a computer, your USB selection, optical selection, coaxial, auxiliary, and Bluetooth. If you switch it to the other ones like the XLR and RCA, you have to, once you've switched it, this remote, just throw it away. This doesn't work. Um, and then you have your bass and treble adjustments. And usually there's bass and treble and then a reset button. But since this has a full fuck screen, you could literally see it go from bass plus. This is upside down. There you go. Bass zero. You can go all the way negative six or positive six, I think, on both. I'll bring the bass up a little bit like I always do. Yeah, you can go up and down bass and treble six dB, probably. I was actually upping the treble two and upping the bass three. It's just how I'm trying to balance them out in this space. Let me let me tell you how good this this tweeter is. Even if putting the treble up made it too much treble, I still liked it. I just wanted more. Fill me. The perfect song. The volume goes to 60. Now we're using a digital input. 
which means and but uh, my foo bar here is using a different style of replay gain, which actually brings the gain down probably total five decibels more than it should, which is kind of annoying. But at the same time, it's fine because it's much better replay gain. <laughs> I do. Uh, I can't tell you. I'm gonna cry because that song. Th this is this is Bernard Herrmann's "Twisted Ner Nerve." This is used in Kill Bill. I'm sure it was used originally somewhere else. How fucking murderous this particular song is! But I've never heard it clearer, ever, on anything. And I've got the treble up to. Let's put the treble up all the way. Six. The the it's just the holographic where it's happening and how it's happening and when it's happening. I don't even know all the happenings. I'm. Tr it's. I don't want to just tell you this is a great trap. This is a great tweeter. Buy it for the tweeter. But it's the best tweeter that I've ever heard attached to a speaker that unlike the A100 is actually competent at all the other things. We are at maximum volume, by the way, so I'm gonna lower it down. All alone. I can hear that that treble is up. I'm just gonna lower it back down to plus two. The bass is at plus three. I wanna hear this song fully straight through and I might shut the video off because as I unpause it, It never had like a speaker plaster sound, just, it's just here. It's just doing its thing. I didn't even play around with the placement that much. I literally set these up, I was like, that looks about even, put them on and I haven't moved them. There's no reason to. I sit closer, it sounds fine. I slam my ass further back. It, it's, it's, they're a hundred percent top of their game. If you are an Edifier fan, a Swan fan, any of those Chinese brands, these Air Pulse are the pinnacle of what is possible. I wish half the rooms in Munich sounded as good as this. And if I add the subwoofer and it completes the fucking like the whole thing, it's like, oh, well, shit. That's where I am. Those LS60s are sitting behind me. $7,000 pair of speakers is sitting there because I still, I'm not done with these. This video indicates my like, I'm almost done, kinda. <laughs> through the YouTube video, through the GoPros mics, you have got to be able to say, wow, Days of the New has never sounded better. I'm like looking right at the tweeter and th that's just a guitar being picked. And I don't see the guitar, but I hear it. It's like my brain can't handle that amount of like, wow, that's just a guitar. That's not a tweeter making a guitar that's a guitar. There's a guitar there. It's one of those speakers that if you blindfolded someone, put them in a room, and you said, all right, we have a special guest for you, and then a vocal came out, a voice, or someone was playing an instrument, they'd believe it was there and not a speaker. All right. F obviously, DSP corrections being done because it's full of fucking it's nothing but electronics. They're not even wired together. It's a wireless lossless connection. So that's uh, John Wick Horse Whisperer from John Wick Chapter Three. And as you can tell, it's up relatively loud. We're at 50 out of 60. And it went dong, and I felt it, but it wasn't enough without a sub, but it's still enough. I'm, I'm trying to, to very quiet, quietly hone you in on the experience of these speakers, because they're going to sound like just better, like just, it, it's like you bought the gold unlock package for a gun in a video game. And it's like, yeah, I've got this, you know, Whisper P90, but now I've got the gold. Whisper P90, and it's just 47% better than all the other guns in the game. These are 47% better sounding than most speakers. And I'm, I'm literally looking at like a lot of these speakers. Like if I put the swans back on, what will impress me the most is the bass and the volume. Cause these get loud, but they don't get as loud as like you think they'd get loud. They're kind of protecting themselves. These feel like the most 
adult speaker. Like these are the classy motherfuckers. And yes, I'm running them upside down. And you know what? If you're sitting here and your eyeballs look right into the tweeters and you unpause it. Yeah, you could run them upside down too. I hate Frozen. This is the Japanese version, by the way, because I couldn't stand the singing in English, so I got a Japanese version. So when they sing, it's... I think it's recorded better also. But, like, I don't... I want to hear this whole song in Japanese just because these speakers haven't played it yet. I'm like, ooh. The little ding and stuff, like the ding, just the little ding is like, that's better than I've ever heard a ding. It's, they're a miraculous. It's, it, it, uh, just, uh, I didn't even try them with the XLR inputs, which, cause I feel like it's going to be the same sound, just wholly more annoying to then control the volume here and then have to run two XLRs. This is, this, this remote, slightly modified, the speakers slightly modified, and maybe a little sub, $3,000. I'd be hard pressed to tell you to buy a passive set of speakers and an amplifier, get anywhere fucking close. Cause that's where we are. I, I don't know if that tweeter I, I don't even know what it's running off of, how many watts. I don't know what the frequency cutoff is. I don't know if it's adjusting as I raise and lower the volume, if they're tweaking the, the mix between the two. It's... That's a loving spoof, spoonful daydream, obviously a live cover. Sounds like shit. Want to listen to the whole thing. Like, none of that was just, like, painful. It sounds like it should be a painful thing. It's like VR music. These are the speakers I want to listen to. All the things I've already heard. How come you have three guitars? Right there, kick drum. Kick drum's perfect. Kick drum isn't sub bass. Kick drum is, I forget what the what the Hertz rating is. Someone in the comments, tell me what a kick drum roughly hits to. But it's like, it's just aggressive enough, but it's not fucking with the clarity. And I just, I just, I want to, all right. I don't know. This is going to be a sound demo. So if you don't know, sound demos used to be on YouTube. I moved them off of YouTube because I want to play Blind Melon No Rain. In fact, we're going to take Blind Melon No Rain. We're going to pick it up and we're going to drag it into the new test playlist. And I'm going to close all of FUBAR because FUBAR doesn't remember state until you close it. So if you do a whole bunch of editing and like different playlists, close the motherfucker because if it just crashes for whatever reason, you lose all your editing. So now I have Blind Melon, No Rain, and when I do the sound of them for these, I just want... it, it's so good. They're, they have, I had my doubts because the 100s were such a letdown. They were a letdown. Oh, Zios, you love everything. Fuck you, go watch the A100 Air Pulse video. It's like, eh, they're $1,000 and they're pretty, and the tweet is pretty good because it was a slightly smaller version of this tweeter. But they weren't worth a thousand. I told you straight up, don't buy them for a thousand. These are twenty three hundred. Straight up, buy these for twenty three hundred. Add a sub to the list. Whatever. It doesn't have to be a nine hundred dollars sub. Go get a fucking Yamo sub. Any sub. You can't integrate it. That's another problem. Is that it's super expensive, and I've got a bunch of other fucking powered monitors, and most of them have subwoofer outs, but not these. Nope. These I'm adding a sub through the method of. Uh, Matrix Audio Spitif X Spitif X Spitif 3 so I got all these digital outputs and one digital outputs going to the speaker and one digital outputs going to a whole fucking other DAC that is then feeding another subwoofer which is great because it gives me another remote and I can literally the problem is I have to adjust the subwoofer volume at the same time as the speaker volume which is stupid but temporarily that's fine and I could just turn the I could, here, here I'm going to turn that on I'm going to 
turn that on. So now that's going to be on. We're at what volume here? 50, 51, 51. Um, we're going to raise this to 20, negative 20 dB. So now when I unpause the music, now that's going to kick in too. Yeah. Just a little, a little sub comes and just helps, just fondles the balls. These speakers are absolutely worth $2,300. I give them a full fuck you Zeos recommendation and I'm in love. Um, if I play them against rivals at the, the thing is, there's not much I've done at the $2,000 speaker range. I've done a bunch at 1,000. Like these are a thousand and the Air Pulse A100s were a thousand, which is why the Air Pulse A100s fucking lost. But that really shouldn't compete with this because that's half the price of this, but that would definitely fight against it and win in anybody who's looking at bass and volume categories. But for actual sit down, detail, Abyss 1266 level fucking like, give me everything, these these and actually they're better than the abyss 1266 so i actually want to listen to them and i'm not fucking wearing them oh that's too long an intro sub selfing now in fact i could even there i've muted those and that's still going because i have to mute that separately speakers are fucking fantastic they're big they're not small and when you put them right side up they're also pretty pretty uh, uh, sort of they're pretty i think they should probably have included a grill because i think a lot of people are going to think about like hey i don't want to put a home theater in zeos what's the best i could do for like 2500 these get these in a sub well that will be like 20 2700 2800 because three thousand dollars will buy you a fucking surround sound no problem but if you're like no 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 someone said no speakers in the rear these two and then hide a little subwoofer for somewhere. Just hide it just, just a little bit somewhere. You don't need it, but it won't hurt. And then you sit here and you just you just fucking rock your rock with your cock all night long. That's so dumb. And again, I'm standing, so I'm not in the right tweeter zone. The tweeter zone is here, and I want to go down here. You know, this is a visceral sound. All right, I'm done. I'm just gonna keep up making up shit and talking about it. You could hear that, right? You could hear it, right? You, I'm not hallucinating. You could all hear it, great. Links to these, they're on Amazon for fuck's sake. You can return them if you don't like them, but don't if you're, don't be a dick. I hate people who are like, I bought nine things from Amazon, returned eight, because I just wanted to see which one was best. Don't do that. Do research and buy the one thing you might work with. And return if it's broken or if it's really bad. I don't return much to Amazon. I've gotten some things I'm like, oof. I bought pants and it was my size, but it was not my size. Like those have to go back. There's no hope. I'm not losing four inches of waste. It's not happening. Maybe it could happen though. God knows. Oh my God. What? Actually, I think I added this song. Mozart's Rondala Turca because of these speakers. I was just listening to these speakers. Let's put the treble up and put the treble up to six. I raise the volume to 55. That fucking bell is insane. All right. Everything needs a thing, a thing to make it great. There's its thing. Whatever these tweeters are doing, put these tweeters in everything. It's fucking. Anyway, I'm done. Wallpaper in the horde. Patreon, subscribe, star, support this channel. Please, for the love of God, if you want to see these reviews early, participate in yard sales and hear the sound demo for these. Don't you want to hear the sound demo for these? Where I could play any songs I want and use whatever n nasty, risque wallpapers. I'll say risque wallpapers. Um, yeah, check out the Patreon uh, or subscribe star for $5 a month. You get to do all that shit. $10 a month, private behind the scenes Telegram chat where the patrons there have known about these for weeks because I take little video bubbles and like, holy shit, you guys. Holy shit, you guys. So they already know before the review. And also, if you're in a $10 patronist chat, you also get into a lifetime swap me channel where you can buy, sell, and trade gear or even request things. A lot of people go in there looking for a blah, 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 blah. I don't know if they ever get it because it's all done through PMs, but... 
It's nice that you could ask there. I'm I'm done. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna sit down and watch anime on these because everything on them sounds just clearer. Like straight just clarity and never pain. The fact that it's this clear and brilliant brilliant is the word and doesn't hurt I'm a plus six right now and the treble got more but it doesn't hurt it's fucking why i'm done i'm done you're done i'm done we're done goodbye <laughs>